Good morning, everybody. How are you? Doing good. Very good. Right. Fantastic. How are you, Tony? I'm, I'm uh, so excited to talk with all of you about Midway. Um, what an incredible motion picture this is. It's a story that has they've tried to tell, but this really goes into who did what, and, and it is such... Um, you know, a tip of the hat to the greatest generation that we've ever known. Truly. It's, yeah. it's an important story, an important story that needs to be told, a very important story for American military and political history and therefore global history. Uh, you know, for, our, for the millennials, you know, for my generation, for, for, for everyone, it's important to remember the past, remember the cost of war, remember the sacrifice that these men, as you say, the greatest generation, um, their contribution that, that has enabled us to live in this relative peace and, and, and uh, privilege. Roland, I mean, as a director, as a writer and producer, how do you get, how do you get around this story? I mean, it is such a big um, historical event. It, it's kind of hard to capture, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like, uh, I look, I, I want to make this movie since 20 years, so I had a lot of time to think. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but what, I, what I decided very early on, I kind of said, you cannot uh, understand the Battle of Midway without seeing the attack on Pearl Harbor. So we like, kind of decided you know, to tell six months of uh, the beginning of the war and just uh, show how an amazing turnaround or comeback that was for the Americans. And, you know, and, take, uh, and, and describe all the different aspects which go into a battle because so many people are involved in battles and then sometimes only a certain personal decision of one of these thousands of people who like kind of uh, do battle uh, kind of some, some, sometimes like, uh, you know, like kind of uh, in a way makes uh, one side to win the battle. So there's a lot of luck involved, a lot of bravery and, you know, uh, yeah, and it's like kind of what's just what we wanted to tell. Uh, Ed and, 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 and Luke, is it harder for you uh, to play people that actually existed? I mean, is there more pressure to get it right? Yeah, there is a, a, a sense of, of pressure to get it right because you are playing real people and there's such a responsibility in that. Um, but more than anything, it, it, it's an honor and uh, my family's in the military. My grandfather was in the Battle of Midway, so this is an honor for me to represent him. You know, I am playing a real man, Lieutenant Clarence Earl Dickinson, but I'm also representing him. I'm representing many of the men, and Ed's representing many of the men, too, as well, um, because we can't share everyone's story. Each one of these individuals could have their own story. Uh, Bruno Guido, Dick Bess, Clarence Dickinson, Ensign Tex, Ensign Gay. Tex Gay, any of these men, and they're all fantastic soldiers. Uh, we tried to bring a sense of bravery and heroicism to their story because they were already heroic and brave in themselves, and so um, this is for all the men. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing event. I think audiences need to see this movie, especially the younger generation, to understand what their grandparents went through. I mean, these men were so brave and and deserving of our honor. Truly, truly, I think, I can't remember the exact Churchill quote, but he said something like, doomed are those that, that, that forget the lessons of, of the past and history. And I think it's so important that we, re that we remember history. You know, art has this wonderful ability to penetrate people's emotions and consciousness in a way that these politicians with their stuffy rhetoric um, cannot. You know, we have this incredible duality to, to art and pieces such as this where it can be entertaining but it can also be educational. And, and, and that's incredible and, you know, much of the time the things that we're working on is purely entertainment. But this is, this is a, a privilege to be able to to uh, educate as well and you know the, uh, it was so important to us and, and where's the, uh, the writer that this was historically accurate. I don't think we could have showed our face in, 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 in San Diego or Pearl Harbor or, or DC you know ever again if we hadn't got it right so um, 
it, it, it meant a lot to us, and, and I really hope it can educate. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time this morning. The name of the film, of course, is Midway, Roland Emmerich. My gosh, what a great achievement, and I hope to chat with you when uh, the new Stargate movie comes out. Okay. <laughs> well, well. <laughs>